okay guys so this is the cyber and as you can see it is i try to make it as cool as possible and yeah so it has code change cockpit uh it has the color change that at uh, it and the canard in uh they're uh, very they're very they're very reinforced and uh it, it also have air intake and and then after burner and uh, yeah it it's it, it, enough and before i start it's kind of complex um maybe but uh if you folded the uh, asens uh panther then this will be pretty easy for you but uh yeah we'll try and explain as best as i can and uh, yeah it's uh kind of complex and it flies really good so yeah but let's just let's just get on with, with the tutorial and by the way um the wings for this plane it's a bit like um kind of weird as you can see yeah, with this one it's like it has an angle to it and the with this one is kind of like shorter but as you can see it's like pretty long here and i don't know exactly well i know why but it, it is it is just the way that's just the way it has to be and um but this is the plane that we're going to be be folding here so let's get let's just get into the tutorial for flight model i suggest you use a very thin sheet of paper probably like Hansen or uh some more gummy paper and uh, yeah i don't suggest any paper because it's it's very hard to it's very hard to balance and uh yeah but it, yeah so it gets very thick at the end and yeah it's pretty compact so any paper isn't really the best for this model but it's definitely possible like i've done it as you can see here is the printer paper so it's definitely possible but uh yeah it's uh it's very thick uh, here very very th uh, very thick uh, here but as you can see it's definitely possible and uh yeah like as long as you have some um some uh, shaping skills skills and like to make the model as precise as you can and stuff like that then yeah then you, then you can definitely then you can uh, do that but so yeah we are going to start with a preliminary fold, and I suggest you also uh, use a larger sheet of paper if you can. So, so yeah. So let's just begin. And I need to pump up the the material a little bit, and uh, yeah, just prelimin normal preliminary fold. I'm gonna grab some tools. I'll be right back. So and by the way, I'm not gonna go uh, go ahead and explain every angle fold and stuff like that because this video is gonna take a while. Yeah, and stuff like that. So just follow along as best as you can. I fold the edge uh, here to the middle. Turn over and fold and fold down here from these two from these two corners here open that up and fold the edge here to the middle And open that up and fold the top here to the middle. Can 
back in here. And turn it over. Now you're gonna squash fold this flap here. Keeping everything symmetrical. Fold it over, same thing here. Turn up, turn over. So now you're going to go ahead and pop the sides uh, out from here. So you pop the S so you push it out and be sure to make sure that this doesn't uh, lie out. You want to hold this down and just pop this out and fold along here. So you push this in. So it's like that. And fold, fold this out along the, uh, the crease there. And then do the same thing here. Okay, and just kind of fold this down here again, just to make sure that this crease is hard, because you want this crease to be hard. And you want to, this is a combination fold, so you pull this out along this uh, the crease here. At the same time, you push in the sides here. And you also want to crease this here and flatten here as well and you want to make sure that when you crease this down this should uh, go to right here to, to, uh, to right there it's very it's very important that and then you can fold this down and you fold this up and you want to fold this edge here to land that to land on the on the edge here so like that and do the same thing on this side So, and you fold, and you want to fold this up to this edge here. Just like so, and do the same thing on this one, like that. And now, you are going to pop this out from here. So you want to fold this from here to uh, uh to up here. Just just take your finger inside here and just push this down. So so it's like that. And then you want to fold this up to that little point there. And you are going to basically you want to unfold here and you tuck this flap behind like that and then you want to fold along these two here and collapse it down just like that. So now you're going to fold this edge here to 
to the to the middle here, just like that. And then you're going to fold this up here. Or you probably you want to fold this down before you before you and then you fold this up. And then you're going to pop the S out from underneath. Just like that. Fold it down. Fold it to do the other side. And you're gonna squash. Uh, well, now you're going to spread squash at this top here. So, just like that. And then you lay this on the middle. Just like so. So now you're gonna fold this up here and you fold these down like that. And then you fold this top down. So like that. And then you're going to fold the air intake here. Now you fold along this edge here, just like that. Fold that to to the line here. Same thing on this side. Like so, and then you can collapse these together and kind of fold it to to, uh, to the both sides, just like that. And you're going to squash for all this lap here now. Land it on the center. So now you well yeah. So now what you can do is you can kind of you can you you want to roll this. From uh, just kind of yeah, so you just want to do you just out from these two um, points here, from here to here, and then you can if you want to you can you can just unfold that and fold it to there to there to that little yeah, and after that you can roll it you can roll it in again two times, so it's like that, then you refold it. So this is going to be the air, so this is this is gonna be the air intake. It's pretty small, but it works. Okay, so now you're going to just fold along this hair, and you fold this so that it's on the line uh, here. And just kind of fold that back. Yeah. Okay. So now, uh, you want to you want to pull this uh, the layer from on, uh, from from underneath. So you're gonna grab the edge here and pull this out, and you want to re re erase this from here to here. But it's gonna be underneath. Then you can collapse it down. Then you can collapse it down again, just like that. So now you're going to wrap this layer here around. So what I do is I just grab this, then I kind of sink it in. So I do that, and then collapse it again, and you can, and then and then you fold it down again. It's pretty simple actually. Then you do the same thing on this side. Well, uh, sorry about the uh, about the about the lighting. It's a bit bad. I can try to fix it. Okay. Okay guys, so now, now you're going to wrap 
the inf layer around. You're basically just going to gonna sync this out here, then you then you re all this here. So you push it out, so it's like that, and you push in here too. Pop that out and want to fall along the creases there. Then you can just put it down and as you see here, you want to kind of pay attention. You don't want this to be to be like to be underneath uh, here. You want this to be on the top. So you pull this so you want to pull it so you pull it out. Then you want this to be uh, be on the top. And then you can uh, fold this fold this down. Just uh, just collapse it down. So it's like that, and then just do the same thing here. So you, so you push this. So it's like that. And you lay it down. Refold the arrays here, and you want this to be on top. And you can collapse it. So yeah, like it's pretty simple, um, but it may be a bit hard to understand at first, but it's not that hard. Okay, so now you're going to fold from here to down here. Then you're going to fold the top to the edge here. Same thing here. You so that and you unfold these two. And you turn it over, and now you're going to fold the. Uh, now you now we're going to create the color change of all the cockpit. So, so basically, fold this to the side, and you want to uh, re reverse the fold um, from here to here, and from here to here. So you push it out, and so it's like that. Same thing on this side. And now you're going to uh, paddle fold the S of from here to here. And you fold in here, you fold and you fold in here. And You want to, and at the same time, you spread this out, and you want to land it. Yeah, and you just, you then you just want to fold it down. Same thing here. Don't worry if it's not the same here, but it doesn't doesn't matter too much. But try your best at least. The most important thing is that you get it to here. Just like that. And you are going to fold this out from here to here. So I just... You, so I fold that over and you want to squash this down. like that and you're going to sink this uh, this flap that's uh, yeah okay so you're going to you're going to sink that to the outside uh, here but try not to tear it here so so I can show you guys so you go in here and you push it So 
close like that. That was too hard. Uh, sorry, uh, you're just bad. Huh? I'm just kidding. But yeah. Same thing here. like that by the way if this is too hard uh, uh, this step here just uh you can you need you might need to watch uh you might need to want to learn uh Eisen's uh Vulcan so I'll leave that so I'll leave that in the this in the description down down below here and then it's gonna take you to the video so how you can learn yeah, it's probably best if you if you learn that plane before or you try this one, but uh, it's up to you. So yeah. So now I'm gonna put all this top here to right there, and you're going to make the cockpit here. So you just just uh, you you want to just uh do you want to fold this edge on top of on top of on top of itself here, and you want it to come to there. And you pop this out, and you continue that fold, and you can fold it over like that. And you should be, uh, you should be uh, familiar in this cockpit, so don't need to explain it. Like that, and. To lock it really well because because sometimes uh and you fold the plane in half and stuff like that it's going to pop up so you want to grab this whole thing here you want to fold it over this edge uh, here this this whole thing uh, here just like that that will keep it from popping up on oh, no. our do it really well because sometimes it doesn't want to cooperate. There we go. Same thing. Do the same thing here. Yes, like that. So you should have a line uh, here. That's how you know. Oh, that's how you know you've done it correctly. Okay. You fold this back now, and you're going to flip it over. And this is yeah. Okay. So so now you want to squash this flap here. You. You you want to take your finger inside here, all the way inside here, and you lay this down, just like so. And you are going to fold it out so all that the line here, the line uh, here, that's gonna that's gonna that's gonna land on the edge behind itself here, just like that. Then you fold. Then you fold the rest. So it's like that. And then you can. <coughs> then you're gonna tuck uh, this flap uh, uh, here and put it underneath here. Just like that. <coughs> and you do the same thing on this side. Squash fold it down a little bit so that the line is it's landing on the edge. Tuck it underneath, just, just like that. And so now, <clears throat> so now if you turn it over, you should you should have these two here. This is the afterburn that's gonna uh, that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be uh, rolled together and shit like that. So, so now, uh, you're going to we're almost we're we're close to finish now. So you're just going to. Fold this whole. You're just going to take this edge uh, here, like the the east two here, and you're going to fold this over the top, just like so, and do the same thing on this side. Don't grab the canard and just grab uh, these two here. Uh, 
and now you're just going to pop this out just like that so yeah so it's like that and you're just going to fold it and I'm just going to fold this flap here uh, from here to here inside so they hold together and it reinforces it a bit more I mean you don't have to do that step if you don't want to but it kind of helps and uh, yeah so you do the same thing on this side Okay, so now you can turn it over and you're just going to fold this in uh, here. Fold this over the edge uh, here and you're just going to tuck it uh, inside this here, that little flap. Same thing on this side. Tuck it inside there, just like so. And so uh, now now you're going to fold out the uh the wings so that uh the edge uh, here uh, uh touches uh here and you the back you want this uh, it's it's up to you how you like how um yeah if you want the wings to be, be like the way it's the way it's designed uh, here it's pretty uh yeah it's pretty narrow or if you want the to be like like a little bit more like out uh you want to it's up to you you kind of want to just do like that and or, or do like that but if you want it so it's like that you're just going to fold it from there and you want this this you, you want the edge here to land here P pretty simple you might need to re fold this little flap here Like so, and you fold in half and you match it. like so and now just going to fold this behind here just like that and you are going to reinforce the nose the, now you're going to reinforce the nose by folding as far as the thickest part it's probably like yeah, so the thickest part is is uh, here so you're gonna fold you're gonna fold on there to to the nose directly like that same thing on this side just like that and you refold this now you're going to put this on the inside uh, here put it inside there just like so same thing on this side just put it inside there now it's very it's very thick here very very thick so if you're using a printer paper then the, then the jet fold is gonna be a bit it's gonna be a bit hard <laughs> I'm just saying now just flatten out this whole thing and you're going to fold the wings now this is kind of up to you but what I would uh, well, what I do kind of kind of normally is as, as I fold this, um, like, okay, so, so basically you, you want the edge here to be parallel to here, the, the, uh, at the edge here. So, on the size, um, it, I can kind of match up, uh, the fin here, but just a bit below that, and that's per and that's then that's per then that's uh, pretty good uh, yeah so that's pretty good there fold in half 
fold it over. Just like so. And the same as with my, um, yeah. So now you go inside here and you want to just reverse these. You want to, to uh, reverse the, the middle so you create two flaps. Fold this over and fold this one over here like so and you do the same thing here like that and now you're going to fold the wings and then you're going to fold the wings over here from there and down there pretty straightforward and the canard ends too and the canard ends you might want to fold it just a little bit uh, further because the the layer kind of pops out if you're not uh, careful at the jet pole so yeah be 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 prepared because it's gonna it's not gonna be that simple well yeah that. Okay, now it comes to jet fold. So basically, you're going to you're going to jet fold all that. Uh, just kind of want to bend this down. Uh, so like that. You want to jet for all that from however you you want. You want probably from this line here. So yeah, jet fold it. You want to fold it. Online. And by the way, you might want to, you might just need to do this a little bit, just to get the the folding. So you want to bend this down from there to from here, yeah, from there to to there. It's it, it's a bit it's it's a bit yeah, it's kind of hard, but just make sure that at these two it doesn't. Uh, a lot, so I want to hold it pretty, pretty, uh, pretty tight, tightly together. Keep this down just a little bit. And it's okay if it alights out uh, just a little bit, but try not to. Kind of just to get it. Just like that, and you do the same thing on this side, just to get it in the right um, shape for the jet fold. It's, it's a bit hard. Okay, now you can kind of fold it just like that and you can just make sure that you push this to each side so they stay very tight and make sure that this doesn't pop up here, here too make sure it stays it stays inside the plane and uh, just continue the jet fold to right there Okay, and then you do them up, and then you match the up, uh, and then you do the same thing for the other side. It's a bit of a, it's a bit, it's a bit of a challenge. Just keep, uh, just keep it working on it.
make sure that they match up and everything okay and now get a stone please <laughs> and crease this very hard down especially here it's very thick here and the nose of course so it, so it doesn't do this over and over again and give this a nice crease and so that's kind of what you want to do you want a nice little concept there all right so okay that should be enough <laughs> so now you're gonna lock the plant so what you're going to do is you want to put this inside here should have done this before and you take this little flap here and just fold it, fold it, fold it inside the model there just yeah and so now you're going to roll this two times so basically uh, and that's just to keep it uh, so so it stays together uh way better so you're going to roll this uh, just a little bit tiny bit uh, yeah and i'll show you so the camera is camera is probably pretty bad right now so from from right there to right there so it, sh so it should be like a tiny little tiny little lap then you roll the rest all the way inside the model and that will keep it very sturdy and and pretty 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 tight just like that and you might want to uh, uh, recrease it you might want to recrease this a little bit Just like so, and I did do the jet fold a little bit too far back, but it's okay. Now you can fold up the wings. Make sure they are symmetrical. Fold up the canard fins. Flatten out the model. And... You are going to now sh now it's the shaping here so what you're going to do now for the you're going to pop open the air intake now it's pretty it's pretty tiny but you're going to pull this out you're going to pull out the uh the, the parts inside of it and there you go nice freaking air intake so yeah just keep like uh yeah just mess around, pull it, just pull, just pull this out a little bit, and there you go. And for the afterburner, um, just going to roll these together. Should be simple as hell. Maybe it requires a bit of uh, shaping skill here, but it's not too bad. Just like that, guys, and uh, well, it's still pretty bad, but you get the idea. So, just like that, guys, and there, is, there you have it, guys. That is the Cyber Fighter Jet, and I'm like, extremely proud of this plane. Look how it's so beautiful. Like, it's actually so uh, it's freaking very be very beautiful. So, guys. That's been that's been the tutorial, guys. I know it was a bit of it was a bit of a challenge. A bit a bit. Uh, this is probably my hardest plane I've designed and featured on. Fuck that. Featured on this channel. So, 
drop a like for me guys it took it took a while to kind of um to get this plane uh to be like proud of this plane and yeah and stuff like that and by the way guys uh you see that you have these two laps here if you want to you can you can actually go ahead and round them and round them out a little bit to fold like so it has like three afterburners and I think it looks pretty cool if you want to go ahead and do that. Well, now you can. Just kind of. As you see, it's like that. So feel free to experiment. If you want to mod the other plane, then feel free to uh, do that. It's completely up to you. And so now it has <laughs> three afterburners. So, uh, yeah, but that's it, guys. Um, just keep... Um, Keep shaping and stuff like that. And there it is, guys. Hopefully, you have enjoyed this plane. I know it. it yeah, I know it's a bit. Uh, it's a bit of an unusual plane. It's not like the type of style that you would see on, on my channel. But I really tried. So hopefully, you have enjoyed. Smash the like and let's get a thousand views on this video and fifty likes. Peace. I'm just kidding, but that I mean that'll be amazing. But so if you want to have a better afterburner, I forgot to um to mention. So like the the, the oh my god, okay, the frame. Oh my god, my toe. The inners here, like the one here. You want to you want to push them like up here. here. Just kind of slide them up and give this a bottom a new crease. So you want to just kind of slide them up a little bit, and you can, and then you can try and try and try and try and roll them together, and it creates a much better, uh, yeah, it creates a better afterburner. So that's just, that's just a tip. So yeah, so take care, peace.